right. Jacob, Derek, <laughs> it's your time. <laughs> take it away. Y- Jacob, as always, I'm going to let you take this one. Why me? You because I've I've been listening to Garden for like six fucking years at this point. Like I've I've okay. had my fill. Okay. He's new to you. I get to let you take the reins. Okay. Garden has released his newest album and the third in the trilogy, Creatures Together. Named after um, his late cat, Creature, who I believe passed away right before Part 2 released. Creature and Creature Part 2, easily two of my favorite EPs of all time. I mean, like, just uncontested. So, very high expectations coming into this, especially with um, the singles that we got. It was what? It was Jetlag, Perfect, and Geronimo. All of which yeah. are fucking fantastic. <laughs> um, I don't even want to know how many combined plays you've got on them because you've really taken it and ran with it. That see, I did a lot in the beginning of the month, but I haven't. I actually haven't been. I've been listening to other stuff. There's, so, there's some particular songs on this that I have like saved, but we'll talk. So about re- real quick, what is your favorite song on here? Is it still perfect? It's homebound. Okay, good, good pick. I think that's my number two. I something about Eugene has stuck with me so strongly, and I think it's about missing friends. Um, at least my interpretation of it is that it's about like having missed the opportunity to connect with a close friend who is now you know, they've moved away, you don't have contact with them anymore, and it's like, I wish I would have taken the time to to speak with you before you left type of thing and make contact and keep that friendship going, because now you're not a part of my life anymore, and I miss that. I had a friend in high school my senior year who I missed out on the opportunity to hang out with him, uh, and he drove into a uh, traffic light and died the day after. Uh-huh. And he'd like asked me to hang out or whatever and I couldn't because I was busy and like I regretted that I didn't ever since. And Eugene to me like really stuck with me as kind of like I could kind of project that experience um, onto that song. And I think that's kind of a common theme across, for me, all of Garden's music, right? Like there's a reason that he's probably my favorite solo artist of all time, but also across the album too that everything is so personal and honest Mm -hmm. especially on songs like geronimo and homebound where it's hard not to find meaning in them or find a place for you to insert yourself into the song because he's he's just somebody going through life and the same sort of, you know, early mid twenties experiences as the rest of us that then puts it pen to paper, sonically fantastic. It's hard not to love this whole album for me. I, I mean, even going into something, it's like, okay, well, it's garden. Like I'm going to love the album, but just this in particular, I found that I, I was scared when he cut two tracks and it was only going to be like 21 minutes. But I don't think it needs to be any longer. I don't know if I would want it to be. I don't know. Like, do you, how are you feeling? Because it's supposed to be 12 tracks, about half an hour. Um, I don't know. See, I'm a little, I feel like this is, I, it's weird because it doesn't feel like, an album almost and and what i mean by that is but like it honestly kind of feels like a bunch of singles and like you do have the opener and the closer like those are very they both seem like opener closer tracks but i feel like garden for me at least is a singles artist so when I listen to him, it's more like, I like this song, I like this song, and put it into a playlist with a bunch of his other songs. 
and I don't really care about the order of it or and I think Derek died. He lost his Wi Fi. Yeah, and my PC sounded like it was gonna fly. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking weird. I haven't heard that. The CPU shot from like 20 to 100%. It went, Whoa, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was witnessing the death of my computer in real time. Sorry about that, everybody. That's on me. Well, it's not on you, actually, but that's besides the point. <laughs> it's on my dad. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to move out so nobody unplugs my router. Anyway, Garden. Let's get back on track, fellas. I'm going to so, sit yeah, back and relax. <laughs> Derek was asking about the runtime, right? So yeah, like um, did, since he cut two songs from the album, like how how are we feeling? Um, Do you wish it was longer? Are you fine with the ten tracks as is? See, I'm not in the vein where I think I wish it was longer. Um, to me, I um, I feel that like Garden is more like a a singles artist for me kind of thing, where I just like particular songs of his. I don't really, I don't. That's like because that's how I've listened to him mm. until until now, basically. And yeah, the the long story short EP, um, even that feels like three singles. But yeah, so cutting it doesn't really bother me because the way I listen to this album, other than like the first two weeks, is I take the singles I like, put it in a playlist, and that's mm. how I will listen to it. Um, it almost kind of takes a i don't know i feel like i'm being harsh here but i almost like dislike the album like that okay him releasing as is this as an album as opposed to singles okay yeah i and that's something that i think is really interesting too is that like there was um an ep in 2018 called outsider which like if it were an album would be one of my favorite albums of all time but it's considered an EP and it's longer than this is. So that's like kind of where it feels like a little bit of a, of a disconnect and maybe like consistency. I mean, it's, it's a weird, like nitpicky thing that's, but I don't know. I think that this as a, I get why outsider was an EP. And I think that this works well as an album, even if it is only that 22 minute runtime, I think we're getting the two tracks that were missing released as singles. Cause I think they were finished and he decided to take them mm-hmm. off a week before. Um, it'll be interesting to see because I know that like garden as an artist is very um, particular and like a perfectionist when it comes to his music. And I'm going to trust <laughs> that that was the right choice type of thing. And I'm sure it'll make sense um, by the time it comes in or by the time I get those other two singles, like, okay, yeah, I see why I took them off type of thing. Yeah. Cause um, we have the old order, right? We have a, a track listing order. Yeah. So. Yeah. Hold on. Garden creatures together. Track list. Let me see if I can get the, I don't know. This is the updated one. No, I don't know where the old one is. I feel like, there's a lot of songs on this album that like trigger like different things for me, like three, two, one nostalgia. Mm-hmm. Same with, same with perfect, same with homebound. And then there's other ones that trigger like, like darker, darker feelings of like sadness and depression, like uh, impossible. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that's the best example. Geronimo slightly. Yeah, and I feel like... Oh, what were you going to say? Well, I was going to say that I think to me that goes back to my feeling about him, that he's just a down-to-earth, honest guy making music. It's so relatable. (laughs) (laughs) And that's why I'm happy to find so much in each of these songs. Um, I want to point out lyrics, but it's hard for me to because I guess the way that I've really consumed this album... I haven't listened to any of these songs by themselves. I have sat down and listened to this album front to back every single time I want to hear any of these outside of maybe Eugene. Well, yeah, and the singles too. But um, And so for me, I haven't grown attached, again, outside of Eugene, to any of the individual songs as much as I have grown attached to the album as a whole and the experience and the way that it makes me feel. So I could be listening to the album together and being like, you know, front to back saying, oh, 
yes, I really like this lyric at this point in the album and at this point in the song with everything else around it because it makes sense and I can relate to it. And then you can ask me to say, okay, well, what song is it on? I'm like, I have no fucking idea. (laughs) (laughs) Which is weird. I've never had that happen to me with an album before. And I think it's just because I think that this works so well as a finalized album and experience that, I mean, kind of tying back to the runtime thing, like, I'm glad he cut those two tracks because this is perfect to me. This is as much Pun late. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, sure. We'll go with that. <laughs> um, it's It's as much a on my way to work in the morning album as it is a late night nostalgia reminiscing yeah. album as much as it is i got off work and i'm on my way home or it's the evening and i'm in my own head like that's the thing with gardens music for me in this album in particular is that it really just feels like it scratches every part of my brain not only in terms of like sonically but lyrically different themes the way that everything ties together mm. honestly and it feels weird to say about a 22 minute album because you know spoiler alert like 10 10 tracks 22 minutes because you know the spoiler alert for later this year there is a shorter album that is making my top 10 and one of my gripes with it is that i wish it were longer and it's still longer than this is and to me that's a testament to the artistry of garden and how much he's able to condense and put into something that's so short like to me even if it doesn't have the runtime this has the content of like a 40 minute album type of thing like i would feel just as satisfied listening to this as i would a 40 minute album from another artist with the same themes yeah i don't have another artist that can do that nobody nobody in the same genre i think maybe the person that comes closest is sad eyes but even then like this to me there's nobody doing it like garden i will not hear another album like this this year it's just not happening and i'm perfectly okay with that because i love that i've got an artist like this that can fill that niche for me i don't want anybody else to sound like him i want to have garden's music and have it be so uniquely special to me in the way that this is i mean i think i'm at like 70 or 80 save songs of his at this point and probably going to be my number one artist on spotify at the end of the year like let's i'm just being super real like it's definitely gonna happen um yeah and i i feel like it's more of a garden review than an album review for me Mm -hmm. but i think it's because my high points on this album are more so the album as a cohesive whole rather than individual moments on the album so i have less to point out and more praises to sing about how well everything works together like on a song by song basis again like i said i could tell you what all of them sound like but they all have the same sort of experience for me because i've listened to the album together so i'm just kind of like yeah this is uh this is a really 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 fucking good album and nobody else i don't think there's another artist in music right now that could pull this off the same way the garden did I love this. I do want to say, yeah, I I guess I wanted to ask you, what songs don't you have saved? Like, which ones haven't stuck with you? Because I know you said you playlisted some. Definitely for a reason. Mm. To me, Uh, so, sorry, um, can I say something real quick? Because that's really interesting to me. That, to me, for a reason is my least favorite song on the album and it is the perfect bow on top of it all no because of the lyrics i agree with the first part i I think it is for me it's like i guess i'll drop this shit in october type of thing that it's it's kind of like the for a reason at least my interpretation of it is that he dropped he he pushed the album back for a reason because he didn't feel it was right and it's kind of a a a view into his mind and the creative process of mm-hmm. okay i'm pushing it back for a reason i guess i can drop this shit in october which you know i think is like a lyric halfway through yeah and um... just this honest introspection that i feel like sonically it's my least favorite song on the album uh but lyrically i think it's probably the song in the album that sells me on the identity of this the most which is like this weird dichotomy but 
I love it. And I didn't like it at all the first time I listened to it. I didn't get it. And the more I listened to the album and the more I understood, the more I liked it. And so I say it's my least favorite, but I think that every song in this album is a 10 out of 10. Hmm. Can't say that about very many other <laughs> albums this year. I also don't have 3, 2, 1 saved. Just because I feel like you need the context of mm. the album. That's like the single song that I feel mm-hmm. like needs the context of the album. But yeah, I wanted to highlight the the part in Ho- the end of Homebound where he just, yes. he's like, I wrote this comeback while you were alive. And then he just rambles on. It's like rhyming random shit. And it's just mm-hmm. like, it's like really random, but it works so well. Right. <laughs> That's everything for me on this album. The runtimes of the songs, different moments on here. Um, it shouldn't work some of the time, but it does. <laughs> and it mm. works really, really well. And I just, yeah. I, I, I didn't know what really to expect from the rest of the songs based on the singles. Because they all sounded the same, but they also sounded so different. And then we get to the album and you have things like On the Wall and Eugene that really lean into the pro- Production of a lot of the like vocals of the back thing that second half of on the wall is probably my favorite moment on here i gotta say when it starts that kind of punchy in and out um beat in the background i love it god i fucking love this album i think i just talked myself into making this album of the year <laughs> i think i may have just in the span of the pet well i guess it took longer because my internet went out but like i think i just <laughs> i think i That's just talked nice. myself into album of the year <laughs> anyway all right the only comment mm-hmm. I have to make on this, since I didn't listen to all of it, I only listened to the singles. I feel like you guys both love this album, but for entirely different reasons, and I think that's really cool. Yeah, I think I'm much more focused on the album as a whole. I have not listened to a single song off this album, like, not in the context of the album at all. Except singles. Except singles. <laughs> 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 I feel like Jacob's just been the complete opposite for the most part. Yeah. Yeah, because yep. because that's how I listen to the, to him, right? That's how I've been. Like he he mm. releases sing, tons and tons of singles. Yeah. Well, and I guess too, it depends on when you started listening to him too, because you're only that's used true. to the singles because you listen to him Since after he, right, exactly. Actually, so he doesn't drop anything for you. What's you know what I I just realized I am a. Because my first introduction was that EP, I can't, uh, the one where he wrote it in the treehouse. Um, I can't remember. I thought, I like. thought your introduction to it was um, Bad Luck. No, 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 no. There was that EP. Things could be worse? Yeah. Oh, that's right, because you heard it and said it sounded like Eden, and then it went from there. <laughs> it's, it's all yeah. been. <laughs> and then the spiral happened. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, like, I've been listening I'm, for forever, I've gone, and I've. Gone, like, full 180, basically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we should probably move on. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Garden. This album is phenomenal. Uh, uh, we're going to be hearing about it later <laughs> this year. <laughs> At least once. <laughs>